What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Sad Season TV. Now, before I get into the video, I'd like y'all to please follow me on Instagram at Sad Season TV. Y'all see it right there in the beginning. Smash that like button or dislike button. Subscribe, share, and comment for more videos. All right, now let's get into it. Okay, so I was speaking with a friend of mine about like Thursday and Friday on this, and I and after just a, after just thinking for a couple of days and just putting certain things together, I decided to throw the question out there as a way to interact, you know, with you guys and get y'all to know you have to use critical thinking for this one. What I'm about to say, I have a hundred percent. I don't have no proof. I don't have no evidence to back this. It's just a question I want to ask the people. What if 6 9 was an undercover informant the entire time? Because a lot of stuff that's been coming out as far as footage of certain incidents, as far as violence where the police got involved, all that stuff didn't make sense. Like anytime something crazy happened from the Barclays shooting, you know, Tim getting kidnapped, you know, Chicago, you know, him going on O Block, putting that hit out on, you know, the shooting in LA with the video shoot with Kanye, you know, the putting out a hit on Chief Keefe and them, and then the shooting that happened in New York the last time before he got swept up by the feds. A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that's been going on it makes sense. I just thought I'd like to break it down. Y'all see right here, this is like the first incident as far as like chronological order. You know, the brawl between 6 9 and uh, Casanova's camps. Y'all see them running right here. You know, that was probably because of the gunshots that was going on. So it got them all barred from, you know, it got them all barred from the, uh, from the you know, from the stadium. And it also led to the police investigating Shoddy. I don't remember if a particular person got arrested or not. Let me know in the comments. But they were investigating them for that. And then, you know, the kidnapping happened, which we didn't have no uh, videotape of or nothing like that or footage. We all thought it was fake. And, you know, for him to promote that song he did with Nikki this, you know, last year. And all this stuff starting to come out. And, of course, you got you you hear him talking. You can just hear how shook up he is. A lot of, like... A lot of stuff just been off. It just didn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? You know, like for real though. So like stuff like, you know, this happened, of course, like like the last situation at the Barclays, the police ended up getting involved. This situation happened right here with, you know, the kidnapping that he's testifying against the two dudes. The police got involved afterwards and all that. And then when he went to Chicago, like... It turned out he what he didn't you know he lied about the whole old block thing. We've been on that, and it showed. It turns out like you know the guy who he signed to his brother, his his father's brother, you know his the man's uncle that six you know the guy that six nine is signed to his uncle is the mayor of Chicago I think, and they were able to connect you know were able to he was able to get police escorts. That's how he was able to do that old block thing. But he was also doing that like early in the morning like. Like five something, three, whatever, something super early when nobody was out. Said it was 10 p.m. People was like, man, the footage said he was at like almost around near 4 a.m. You can see that. That's the car that he was around, you know, with the police. And he just went out, went out, did the video, hopped back in as if nothing happened. And this has been happening at certain points, like certain things where certain stuff happened, especially where he, you know, wants to uh, instigate and start beef. For some reason, the police were there, and I'm not, like I said, 100%, I have zero proof or evidence to say that he was an informant, but I just found it weird that even after all that has been going on, why did he wait till the last, why did he, why did he, why, okay, I'm sorry, bro. but check this out, guys. This is the main thing that I also said to myself that could counter and rebuttal the you know the thought of him being an informant the entire time because if he was an informant if he was really an informant an undercover informant why did he wait to get on federal court to tell but you already know of course it came out it all came out you know early, a couple of days ago that he had, he that he uh, cooperated with the government the day after he got arrested it didn't just take from November to January for him to cooperate. But just think about it, guys. All these things that have been going on where he's started beef, instigated, had stuff done, was involved in stuff. A lot of times the police were, you know, of course there was videotape of everything and the police or the police showed up. I know there's a lot of clips that I'm missing, but just think about it. Certain video shoots the police pulled up to. You know what I'm saying? He even arrested one time during a music video shoot. And then 
he was dumb enough to put hit the video out of him putting out a hit on Tato at Chief Keefe. And then the shooting happened when they got to New York. And then somebody shot at Chief at uh, Six Nines uh, security as return fire. And I think about a week later, that's when the feds swept them up. But, you know, just a lot of stuff about it didn't just make sense. So certain stuff just made me just wonder and ask, you know, what if he was an informant all along? But I also kept to my kept in mind that then again, if he was really an informant this whole time, he would have been, you know, of course it would have been, you know, but, but, but of course, why wait till you're on federal court, the biggest court in America, you know, to cooperate against people? You know, it's just a question I was asking. And like I said, I'm not saying it's true. I'm not saying it's not true. It's just a question. I want to know what you guys think. It's just something I thought about that was on my mind heavy, and I thought I'd break it down. If I rambled, let me know where I could fix stuff at. But, you know, just a lot of stuff just didn't seem right, especially with all this videotape. And, of course, I knew the transcripts of the uh, the, the testimony in federal court was going to come out, but all this other stuff that came out while the, you know, while the transcripts, video and audio of him testifying coming out, you know, it's just weird. You know what I'm saying? Just real weird. But yeah, that's just my thoughts. I want to know what you guys think. Do you think 6 9 was an undercover informant the entire time? Or do you think it didn't make sense, like I had said earlier? Because had he had been an informant, he wouldn't have waited so long to cooperate. But, you know, tell me what y'all think about it in the comment section, guys. Hit the like button, subscribe, share, and comment for more videos. Hit the bell button so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Of course, Cash App is going to be in the bottom, too, if you want to donate to the channel. Hit the bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. And as always, thank you for tuning to Sag Season TV. I'm out.